there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Hype Train here on Pasty Your Skin. Now, I have been a Star Trek fan. I've been a Star Wars fan. I mean, all of the stars fans. I'm a fan of Star Lord. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, space is where I want to be. Sci-fi is my love and true dreams. So to see one of the oldest series is coming back with its next part, I'm excited. But I'm not as excited as a lot of other people would be. So let's just jump straight into Star Wars The Last Jedi because, hey, I haven't watched it yet. And the rest of you guys have been talking about non the fuck stuff. So instead of me worrying about spoilers or actually like hearing theories before I actually have an, a, like a, a solid idea of what it is, let's just jump into the trailer. He's down strong anyway. Light. Darkness. The balance. This December, this film is not yet rated, and we have no idea what we're going to do next. So, Star Wars The Last Jedi, obviously this is a teaser, it's so, so light in content. The one thing that did get shown a lot of is the uh, location here in Ireland that they went and shot in, uh, which was obviously at the tail end of the last movie and appears probably very early on in this movie. So, um, of course, Ray uh, is sitting here training away with uh, Luke Skywalker. Um, questions have been asked about what her lineage is. Is she a Skywalker? Is she a another line altogether? Um, I think somebody posted up that her name was Kenobi on like um some TV program. I was like, ah, that's brilliant. That's great. That's actually taking. That's really fun. That's a re if that's true, then that's fucking absolutely fantastic. So we'd actually have the master train the child who trained the master. Uh, you know, we'd actually have it like generationally kind of loop back around again. It's pretty nice. Also explains what Ben was doing out in that cave all that time. Said you're feeling bad about um bucking once or twice in his life. Um, always it shows Ray having a very powerful connection to the force with her kind of like lifting small objects just that are sitting nearby she actually like, like showing the force wasn't really uh there wasn't that much detail in people's abilities um obviously there's a couple of things i want to actually talk about as we go through here because they're popping up on screen so um the ray actually lifting a number of objects all at once even if they're small objects makes me think more of star killer or whatever you call him from the force unleashed who uh, w arts articulation of a good uh, high powered force wielder is somebody who can actually like fucking <laughs> you can stop a death star or not a death star or a star destroyer with his like single concentration on the force or like launch people back and forth across the room like ragdolls rather than actually this like grab somebody and minutely choke them to death over a period of time it's. It feels like there's a lot of um, 
a, a, a lot of escalation in her ability. So I was saying the last Jedi, essentially the implication that maybe the force was actually divvied up amongst the number. Now that there's less, there's actually more people are more powerful. That could be an explanation. I don't know. I'm I'm theorizing myself as anybody else would. Obviously, we're looking at. I think this is Vader's uh, mask damaged, which has been held on by uh, Kylo Ren. He's obviously kind of held on to it uh, as a memento. It looks like it's been completely destroyed. Um, this little shot of the shelf full of books. Which seems to be uh, fairly odd with its focus on objects. Um, that looks like the um, an old rebel symbol, isn't it? Like it was actually uh, blue wings with a gold spike through the center of it with a star. It, I thought it's US Starcom. I don't fucking know. It actually looks more like Starcom more than anything else. But um, I think the implication is that there's a written tradition that people have managed to forget. I think somebody pointed out that uh, there was a very major point that there's no never to show paper. In the Star Wars universe, everything was paperless. Everything was digital data. Could easily be lost, corrupted, removed, manipulated, changed. And uh, anything of the Jedi was actually an oral tradition that had been shared around. Uh, so this could be a formalization, a written down history of the Jedi that um, also helps remove any of the expectations of anybody who's wanting the old books to be involved. I love the idea that they said none of those books actually happened. Except for these books. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, fandom. We've got our own books. We, we were planning for this the entire time. We were just letting you play in the sand until we got around to this shit. So, yeah, um, I, I can respect that. I, I can respect that kind of, like, big F you, but uh, else at the same time going, like, we're going to formalize some shit now. If it's formalized, then that also means where we can go with the past stories. So, literally, the lost stories of the Jedi, I suppose, would be the earlier tales. The actual Knights of the Old Republic. So this Christmas, we got this to look forward to, of course. Um, the combat scenes showing these look awesome. I do like seeing um, just good space combat, aerial combat scenes. And of course, we're going to lead to a Kylo Ren and Rey uh, beatdown and some more Stormtrooper action. You know, What can else you can ask for? But um, obviously... Luke's got a sign off on this. He's got his moment to go away. Um, Leia, probably, we're, we're obviously going to have issues because she's going to appear in the ninth one. They've talked about it, so they're probably going to do the whole CGI look thing. Um, I'm not I'm not upset by that by any stretch of imagination. I just think it's one of those things where it's a necessity in the modern age, especially whenever they had to do Rogue One. They had Tarkin, and they had her as a younger woman in it. Um, the technology is there at that point now where you just go like, we accept that they're not going to be real. We just accept that. So, if they don't mind, we'll make them say whatever the hell we want. <laughs> That's the reason why Robin Williams bought the rights to himself for the next 10 years after he passed away. He made sure other people could not be using his likeness for random shit because that man has probably said every word under the planet in the sun and has at some point voice acted in nearly everything. So, they could probably get away with actually making him say anything they want because they have a big enough archive of it. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> Star Wars Last Jedi can stay on focus. Uh, this obviously came out before my birthday there on the 16th, so uh, I just, like, left it by the wayside. I I've I've had more important things to do with alcohol involved than to actually be watching Star Wars trailers, but that, that doesn't have me hyped, but it has me asking a lot of questions. And obviously those questions have been uh, debated ad infinitum. If there's anything that you actually thought I might have hit upon... In my analysis of this trailer, make sure to set a comment underneath and actually say, uh, yeah, yeah, the whole paper thing, yeah, I get that. Uh, maybe it's actually property, the actual history of the Jedi, and it's disappointed Luke because he's actually managed to find this information, and it's made him go into Hermitage, said you going like, this is all a stupid, stupid mistake in the first place, that's why the Jedi must end. Or that the whole point of the Jedi was a complete mistake in the first place, that the, the Sith might have actually been right, I don't know. They were the ones that actually understood how... The feelings were involved. The Jedi were just the uh, ecclesiastical priesthood that just thought, right, we have to keep it to ourselves. Maybe it just needs to be shared with everyone. That's why there are going to be no more Jedi, because everyone can finally be Jedi. You know, that kind of thing. So, oh, I right, actually just the explanation that it actually was all biological. That'd be hilarious. Huh? Oh, sorry. Hmm. So, yeah, Star Wars Last Jedi. No, I'm not yawning out of tired, uh, out of tired, not liking the trailer. It's just out of tiredness because this is early hours of the morning recording this in. So um, if you enjoyed my thoughts, you enjoyed my commentary on the Star Wars Last Jedi teaser trailer, make sure to hit the subscribe button way up there for whatever source that you actually saw this on, be it 
Twitch, whatever else, Twitch, YouTube, or anything. If you actually didn't find me on any of those, you can also find me on all of these down here. Just make sure to hit any of the logos or actually go down to the actual websites or just Google past these skin. It'll be able to make you make it able to find me anywhere else. Also, remember over here, the boxes are popping up on the screen on YouTube. These will actually show you different things that will be available for you to watch here on the channel. Make sure to check those out anytime you feel like there'll be hype train trailers. There'll be recommended stuff just for you. And of course, all the content here on the channel. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've been here, Star Warsing, nerding out with you. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next trailer. Bye.